CMA CGM Washington, Svenborg Merst, Amasi Sowie, and Juan Apus. Have you ever heard about these container accidents due to parametric rolling? Hello, I am second mate Cory Carlos and I'm here today to teach you how to prevent these accidents due to parametric rolling. But first, what is parametric rolling? Parametric rolling is experienced by the vessel when it's transiting in adverse weather. So if the natural rolling period of the vessel is equal to the period of encounter, or the natural rolling period of the vessel is twice of the period of encounter, then the vessel will experience parametric rolling. So this will give the vessel an unstable movement while it transits in adverse weather, resulting to the damage of the cargo, the ship, and of course can be life-threatening to the crew on board that vessel. So this can also capsize that vessel. So the weather is clearly influencing the safe voyage of the ship while it's transiting from point A to point B. That is why during voyage planning, it is clearly necessary that meteorological aspects and climatological aspects are always considered when you are doing your voyage plan. So to prevent these accidents from happening, we need to determine if our vessel is encountering parametric rolling and we have to identify necessary control measures to address this risk. We can do this by using MSC Circular 1228 Diagram. So for example, we have the following parameters. The ship's rolling period was calculated at 28 seconds for this current GM. Your ship's course is 0, 7, 0 degrees true and wave is coming from 2, 8, 0 degrees true. So therefore, the angle of encounter is 2, 1, 0 degrees. Your ship speed is 1, 3 knots and wave period is observed at 10 seconds. Now the questions are, what are the limits of the danger zone to be avoided? What is your period of encounter for this condition? And what control measures are to be considered to avoid parametric rolling? So we need to calculate the zone to be avoided using the formula for the calculation of upper limit and lower limit. For the upper limit, you need to get the quotient for the natural rolling period and the constant 1.7. And for the lower limit, you need to get the quotient between the natural rolling period and the constant 2.2. In our example, we calculated the upper limit as 16.47 seconds and the lower limit is 12.7 seconds. You have to enter the dangerous zones into the diagram and get the angle of encounter between the ship's course and wave direction. This is usually the difference between the ship's course and the wave direction. Then enter the actual speed, mark the wave period on the curve in the diagram, and extend the speed curve until the line will intersect with the wave period curve. From the intersection, Draw a line perpendicular downwards until it intersects with the period of encounter. We can clearly see that the ship is inside the danger zone. So after evaluating the situation, the ship's command has several options to avoid this parametric rolling. These options are based on the type of the ship, the cargo loaded, and the actual significant wave height. So the options to avoid parametric rolling are to reduce the speed or increase the speed and to alter course or to do both. The ship can reduce speed to 10 knots but as you can see that you are still inside the danger zone. So you see, reducing your speed is not always the solution. The ship can also alter course to 0 to 0 degrees so that the encountered wave period is 12 seconds which is less than 12.7 seconds as a lower limit of the zone to be avoided. The ship does not encounter parametric rolling and the speed of 13 knots can be maintained. Speed could theoretically be increased because if the limits are calculated, there are always two solutions. It's either stay below the lower limit or above the upper limit. For this example, if the speed is increased to 18 knots, 
the encountered wave period would be about 20 seconds. So therefore, the vessel is already out of the danger zone. But this should be checked if this is possible with the ship's maximum speed. So that's how you determine if your ship is encountering parametric rolling and what are the countermeasures required to avoid it from happening using the MSC Circular 1228 diagram. What can you say? Quite technical? Yes, but reasonable and helpful, isn't it? Want to learn more? Enroll now in UMTC Deck courses. Visit our website www.umtc.com.ph and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button on this channel. This is second mate Cory Carlos. Bon voyage!